Hi, everyone. Um, so every good idea has a story behind it, and every good story really begins with an idea. So let me tell you a story about Dr. Frank Hoffman, who you see right there. Frank uh, has been a resident gynecologist in uh, Duisburg in West Germany for over 20 years. Um, but he had a problem, because due to time and budget constraints in the German um, health, public health care system, he could only spend about one minute per patient uh, with the clinical breast exam, which is the first step in the diagnostic chain uh, for German doctors uh, for early breast cancer detection. So he was thinking um, how to improve his service to his patients because he just, if he just spent a minute, then sends his patient home, she comes back after a year, maybe has cancer, it's his responsibility as a doctor. So what he needed was a way to make it um, more detailed with more, more time-intensive, standardized, and well-documented. So while standing on the shower at 5.30 in the morning one morning, it practically hit him that, of course, it's blind and visually impaired people who have an enhanced tactile sense that could be put to use in this context. Um, and the phenomenon that he was thinking about is actually called cross-modal plasticity. Uh, Stan was talking about um, the variety of, of, of uh, eye diseases before, but if you cover your eyes and you have to um, learn how to hear and train your tactile sense, it takes about eight months until your brain kind of starts rewiring and functioning a different way. So he did research and confirmed this, um, and actually it's a solution for two issues that are at least European, but basically global. On the one hand, of course, you have a marginalized population like the blind and visually impaired uh, people. It's 30 million, uh, I think, in Europe around, um, who have at least double as high an unemployment rate. In some populations, it's up to 90% who don't have a job. And on the other hand, you have uh, breast cancer, which in Europe are, I think, 440,000 diagnoses every year, uh, leading to about 140,000 deaths. So it's an actually really, really relevant um, issue, and the way that he wanted to solve this was by creating the curriculum for the medical tactile examiner. Basically, what it does is it introduces a nine-month training, vocational training program to blind, um, eligible blind and visually impaired women, teaching them a very specific tactile exam that examines the breast tissue in three tissue depths and is I very, very exact. It's basically like creating a system of coordinates on the upper torso of the patient. These stripes are applied in parallel on the breast, and if you can't see, you can touch. So if you have a good tactile sense, like a person with a visual impairment, you'll be able to orientate on the upper torso of the patient, and then when the doctor comes in and asks, do you have a finding, because they never diagnose, they only find alterations in, in the breast, the MTE will say, yes, in zone one, three plus four. And then the doctor will know it's here and can do the further diagnostic steps. So why is this especially relevant? Because of these here. These are basically sizes of tumors that you find on average. The big one, two and a half to three and a half centimeters, this is what women find themselves in the breast when it's basically too late. This here is what doctors find on average, between one and two centimeters. And these little ones, and actually smaller ones, but these are results from the clinical trial, are what the MTE finds. And if you compare, not even the biggest one, but the volume of this tumor, then the relevance lies in finding it now before it can grow to send metastases into the body, what really is what kills the patient. So the idea is basically improving early diagnostics. Here you can try this out yourself to see the, the sizes. Um, now, in a nutshell, it's 30 times more time intensive than the regular examination at a standard price of 46 euro 50 in Germany. Um, in cooperation with 12 public health care funds right now. And we have so far trained 40 medical tactile examiners in Germany. Uh, and what this produces is really a win-win-win-win situation because you don't only help fight breast cancer and employ blind women and employ them not despite their disability but because of their capabilities. Uh, you, you lower treatment cost actually 
only treatment costs would be up to 9,000 euro per patient if you found it in stage one instead of stage two. And adding uh, the, the absence from work, you could save up to 60,000 euro per woman if you just find it a little earlier. And of course, you relieve a public purse because you have less social security spending on unemployed people. Now, these are some of our MTEs that we have right now and what we really need and what we really want to generate large scale and deep impact because this works not only in medical terms but also in terms of mindset change of people regarding people with disabilities because you spend half an hour with this person who gives you half an hour of individual attention in the healthcare system no one you go in thinking poor blind woman and you go out and you realize wow there's a, a, a medical professional now what we want to do we have developed a social franchise system with the first franchisee in Austria and with your help what we want to do is scale this in Europe but hopefully also beyond. Um, we have concrete requests from Portugal, Poland, and Spain, and what we would do with the prize money is conduct two feasibility studies and actually next year start a first pilot project uh, in the Spanish and Portuguese market. So let's let the dis disappear in disability. Thanks.